I'd like to show you how to use the Windows shortcut keys Ctrl Z and Ctrl Y. These work in most places within Windows and I'm going to show you how to use them with text and with files using Windows Explorer. First of all with text, if I delete these two words at the beginning of this sentence here, so if I go Control delete Control delete they've both gone. If I use Control z once, Control z and again Control z it brings them back. Now if I wanted to delete those two words again I could simply use delete or I could use Control y to reverse the undos. So I'm just going to put those back again by pressing Control z twice. It also works if you change things. So let's say uh, I put in a, an extra word or something here um, and a few spaces. If I go Control z it will get rid of that again. Um, or maybe I'll change a word, perhaps if I take highlight part there and change that to something else. And I go Control z it's gone. Similarly, I'll Control z again to get back to part. And if I go Control y it will reverse those undos. If I go now to Windows Explorer, it, it works the same here, although it's not quite as flexible as it is with the text. There's a limit on how many undos you can do. But if I show you, if I change the name of this file to ZZZ and press return, if I go Control Z, it will change it back to file one. If I go Control Y, it will change it back to ZZZ.txt again. So I'll go Control Z to put it back. And then I'll show you a limitation. Oops. Right, let's just rename that. I said there was a limitation and there's proof. Now if I delete a couple of files, say I delete file one and file two and go control Z once, I'll get file two back, but if I hit control Z again, I won't get file one back. So there is a limit to what you can do with Control Z and Control Y in this context. Now I'd like to show you how to use shift and left mouse click to highlight text and to uh, choose files using Windows Explorer. So first of all, what I'll do is I'll make sure that the text cursor is placed where I want to start my highlighting. So I'll put them, I'll put it after, just before the if here. And let's say I want to highlight down to this full stop after well. I simply hold down the shift key and left click at that point. So there you can see it's all highlighted. Similarly, if I go to the beginning of a sentence and say I want to highlight a couple of paragraphs, I can simply do that by holding down the shift key and clicking after tools dot. So there you are, I've highlighted those. Now if I partly highlight something, like subscribed here, and then move the cursor elsewhere to say here, hold down the shift key, press the left mouse button, it will highlight up to there. Then you can change that for different text or you can delete it or you, you can do what you like. So now to the files in Windows Explorer. Again, if I highlight the first file that I'm interested in, and let's say I want to highlight file two down to file six, I hold down the shift key and then left mouse click on file six or seven, which, whichever one I want to highlight down to, file six will say, and the whole, the, that whole collection of files is highlighted, which I can now delete or I can move or I can, open um, all those files at once if the editor I use is allows it, whatever I want to do. Now we'd like to show you how to use control and left mouse click, which will let you selectively highlight things. First of all, text. Now if I highlight dear out of dear reader, and then I hold down the control key and I highlight another word, I'll miss the T bit, let's highlight that. And then I can highlight another. So I'm going to double click in this case, and maybe one down here. Now I can perform operations on all those selections in one go. In this case, I'm just going to hit the delete key to show you that all of those words are now going to go, and they've all gone. And I'll use Control Z just to put them all back. 
Uh, another way of using control left mouse click is if I hold down control key, the control key now, and press here, it will highlight the whole sentence, the whole sentence. So I'll show you that again, I'll put the cursor there, press the control key, left mouse click, and it highlights the whole sentence. Now I'll show you how this works with files in Windows Explorer. Let's say I want to highlight file one and select that, so I click that as the first one. Then I hold down the control key and left mouse click file three, uh, left mouse click file six and nine. Then I could, for example, delete all those files in one go. Uh, 